sell canvas templates on your Etsy store. This is probably one of the hottest topics right now is selling digital assets on Etsy.com. Why? Because there's no cost to acquire that product. You're selling a digital asset. It's something that you sell and transmit digitally. That sounded kind of uh, strange. We're gonna be covering all that in this video. We're gonna do a briefing real fast on what an actual Canva digital asset is, a digital template is. We're gonna dive into the psychology of the people that are actually really crushing it in this space, in this digital template space, who is actually killing it, why they're killing it. Then we're gonna talk about how to do competitor research and proper keyword research. So taking that psychology and putting that into action, into doing the proper preparation when when it comes to learning how to read the data properly, going after product opportunities, basically doing that preparation and that research before you start spending a bunch of time on products that may or may not sell. Once we do our competitor research and keyword research and we choose a product that we're going to create, I'm then going to actually build the product live with you here on my computer screen. Finally, how you can set it up in your Etsy product listing so then you can start selling it right away. You're gonna see the full process of how to do this. Yeah, let's get into it. Welcome back, guys. My name is Hannah Gardner. If you're new to the Tan channel, I talk about how to build brands mostly on Etsy and Shopify, but a lot of other entrepreneurship stuff as well. I've sold over $2 million on Etsy.com. I don't sell digital assets. I sell physical products, but all of the marketing and all the preparation is the exact same, except it's a lot easier because there's no shipping. There's no product cost. There's no physical product that you're touching. It's all digital. I honestly wish I sold digital assets because my life would be so much easier. I just wanted to clarify real quick what actually a sellable Canva template is. So I typed in thank you card template here. And as you can see, what people are selling, like this guy here for 567, it is a thank you card. And you'll see the Canva edit and Canva stamp here. There's another one, the Canva stamp here, right down here as well. And essentially when I click on this, like as you'll see, they're not actually getting a card, a physical product. They're getting the template of the card and it's an edible template so as you can see down here in the description what's included you're getting all of these jpeg formats and then it essentially explains how this is going to work so after you purchase the template you'll receive a pdf in which has a link to open it in canva you can then edit and customize it for free inside of Canva. Download your new thank you card from Canva for free. You can change maybe the coupon code offer. You can change some of the copywriting and then download it and then pay to get it printed somewhere else. So first off, what is the psychology by who's really winning? Well, the first thing that you have to understand is because there's such a low barrier of entry, which means there's very minimal risk in this space, that means that there's gonna be a lot more competition arising. Why is that? Well, like I just said, there's no monetary risk. I think when you buy the Canva Pro plan, it's only like a hundred bucks a year or something. So virtually you can have a six or seven figure business spending a hundred and something dollars a year on the actual product itself. That's not including marketing, but that's a really insane business model, right? Because in standard industries across the board, when you're selling physical products, having a 20, 15 to 20% profit margin after all expenses, that's like, great like a lot of fortune 500 companies they're shooting for that 15 percent so if you can sell an asset that virtually has no product cost that means that your profit margins before marketing are going to be like 90 percent which is like absolutely insane what does that mean for you for you that means that when we talk about doing competitor research and really figuring out how to beat your competitors in the marketplace that is even more important to you because you need to start discovering what value propositions you're going to need to beat the top people in your space you see a lot of the people that are selling digital assets and digital templates with canva they don't just have a couple of listings the guys that are really crushing it are following trends, holiday trends, social trends, keyword trends, the designs, the color schemes that are really winning in the marketplace. They're also launching products regularly. So they don't just have like a few listings. They have hundreds, if not thousands of listings. But because you don't actually have to import inventory or import raw materials, 
you can virtually sit there all day or hire a virtual assistant or a designer to help you sit there all day and be pushing out new designs constantly. It's a very much a horizontal scale, not just in the digital space, but in all of Etsy products. Like once you max out your Etsy ad budget to that thousand dollar a day spend, the only other way really to make more money is to make viral content on Instagram. TikTok or launch more products. Now I'm going to hop into my computer and I'm gonna show you how to do some competitor analysis and product research before we just start diving in and making some digital assets. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to search a very broad key term. And I'm gonna search a broad key term because in theory it's gonna be the higher a higher search volume keyword. So when I type in the keyword template here, one of the first things that shows up is templates. And I'm using a sales samurai chrome extension to do this and help me with my product research and when i hit the 500 more tab here so it's, it's going to start populating a bunch of keywords here that have the word template in it and what i'm looking for here i'm going to sort it by the highest search volume i'm going to look for some keyword opportunities that ideally have higher search volume and lower competition not all the your product opportunities are going to have low competition and that's okay but for this first example, I'm going to look for, I'm gonna see if I can find an opportunity here that does have that lower competition. The reason that is, is because if there is higher search volume, and lower competition in comparison to the other words that are available to me, that means that in an ideal world that it's gonna be easier for me to rank for that product. There's a word here that says EOS template and it has the least competition compared to all of the other words here in the first 10 positions and honestly I have no idea what that is so let's go ahead and click on it. This is actually crazy. So what an EOS template template is guys this is how you know that you can literally make money doing anything like this is absolutely hilarious and eos os i don't even know how to pronounce it what it is is a chapstick that women buy that's in a perfect sphere and what people are selling is the template that people then can put their little chapstick here in the center of as you can see right here in the first row we got a best seller badge so let's go ahead and explore what this person's doing. What they're doing here is selling the template for a thank you card for somebody that went to your baby shower. This one doesn't really have a video showing what this thing actually is. So let me just click on another one. Here's another one that's showing it. This is a really good example. They cut the, they put the circle there. They have to cut it out themselves and then they unscrew the chapstick and then, then they screw the chapstick on the card. And what they're selling is a template for that thank you card for thank you for coming to my baby shower. Before we actually go into recreating a product that's like this, I just wanna talk about the psychology of why this guy is probably a bestseller. The reason why that is is because it's showing many items in the image. This is one strategy that a lot of bestselling stores use is showing a bundled item in the main image and it creates this perception that you're getting more from less basically because you earn that click you allow the listing the beautiful listing sell sells for you once they get to the listing so as you can see they're actually not getting the actual cards it's a printable card so how are we going to actually go and recreate this we're going to use a tool called canva if you don't know what canva is canva is literally like photoshop for beginners it's so easy to use and you can build this whole template product from canva one thing that you do need to know is that you're going to need the pro plan for canva it's definitely worth it i use canva for my social media i use it for my thank you cards my business cards I use it for my email campaigns I use it for logo design I have built like every brand asset from a Canva account not to mention that you if you're planning on making money selling templates you're definitely gonna want the pro plan with Canva it's other thing I need to disclose is that when you're selling templates especially on Canva Canva makes it very clear that you're not allowed to just resell their templates so as you can see here when I come into their to the search bar here and I type in baby shower thank you cards Canva has literally hundreds of templates <laughs> that you can use. And basically what they're saying is that you can't just resell their pre-made templates. You actually need to go ahead and make your own templates from scratch. Basically what I did here, I took a card like this, turned it into this, and it says, thank you for joining us and showering blank your name. So 
when they download the template, they will have the ability to customize this themselves and then they will print it straight from Canva. <laughs> Somehow we need to be able to give this to our Etsy customers. And as I mentioned before, guys, it is so easy to use Canva. It's literally drag and drop. You can move things around, change colors of things. They have literally thousands of graphics in here that you can use. Um, and remember, you just have to build it from scratch. And you can also offer a front and a back. So a front and a back to the card like that. Move things around. It's literally so easy. Just come in here and start messing with it and you're gonna get it in two seconds. <laughs> but like I mentioned, the next thing that we have to do is somehow get our template to be sellable. So Canva's gonna do all that for us. So the first thing I wanna show you is when you go inside of your Etsy account to set up a new listing, you're gonna first come in here and put who made the product. It needs to be a finished product and it can't be a made to order product. It needs to have like this year's date. Then when you scroll down, obviously you're gonna put a bunch of product images, a video, you're gonna use the keywords that we found from our keyword research, the best keywords forward. So the best, most competitive keywords with high search volume and low competition, we're gonna put those keywords in the beginning of the tags, titles and descriptions. So then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna hit, it was on physical before, I'm gonna hit digital file because essentially what we're selling is a digital file. It's gonna be a PDF file. So now when I scroll down here, what it's prompting you to do is upload your PDF file. So the PDF file that we're going to be sharing with them is going to be a PDF file that looks something like this. So I recreated this guy here, and basically what it says is click here to get your template. I would even maybe add a page that gives like further instructions or further examples of how they can do that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just making the template look like this. What we need to do is we actually need to turn this pink button into an actual button. So what we're going to do here when I click on it, and then I click these three dots, there's a link option. And the link that it's asking for is actually gonna come from this guy here, which let me go back to it here. If I hit share and then I hit template link, I'm gonna copy that link and then I'm gonna go back to this button that we made and I'm gonna go to the link and I'm going to paste the link in here and I'm gonna hit done. So what that does now is when I hit share and I download, and I download, we're gonna download it as a PDF standard and we're gonna just download the first page. We're gonna hit download. Our PDF is going to pop up. It looks like this. And so we're going to put this PDF file in our Etsy listing right here. So we're gonna upload that PDF that we just made into that position there. And then they go to purchase it and they get sent this file. They're gonna get this PDF. Obviously you can probably add some more pages there to just get more instructions. They're gonna go ahead and say and hit click to get your template. And then they're going to get prompted to log into Canva. They don't have to pay for Canva to get their template that they purchased. They are just gonna have to make an account. And then they're gonna go ahead and hit use template. And then their template's gonna show up just like this. And then they can just come in here and literally change their name or change the part of the template that they need changed. And then inside of Canva, it's literally gonna have a button here to print the invitations. And they can purchase for these invitations to get printed. They'll just print it on their own computer, in which case they'll be able to download it themselves and then print the file at home. Now that we actually have the product that they're purchasing, we can go back into our Etsy listing, add that PDF file, and then we can go ahead and optimize the listing with photography, with videos, and a bunch of really high search volume, ideally lower competition keywords that we find. A couple of other notes here when it comes to building the competitive listings. I wanna understand why our competition, why that competition that we analyzed was a bestseller. So we already pointed out that the main image is showing many items in the first image, and then it earned them that click, and then we let the listing sell itself. But a couple of things with that listing, that listing didn't have a video. I could argue that that main image photography could have been a lot better, a lot brighter. So that's a really good opportunity for you to go in and beat your competition. You, you also notice that the photography was actually showing a finished product. So it wasn't just showing the template, but it was actually showing it with that lint bomb on the cards itself. So that also could be a key indicator that that's some type of photography that you need to do to also beat them. The last thing that you also want to 
analyze is what is their price point? So what was that price point that they were showing? Is that a price point that you can actually beat? And I think it was like $12 or something. And because this is a digital download, you definitely can beat that when it comes to price. Those are all the things that you want to consider when you're setting up your listing, because you want to make sure that you're coming in with either more competitive price, better marketing, better value proposition, you know, more videos, anything that helps you stand out compared to your Etsy competition when they're searching those keywords for your products. Guys, that concludes this video. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. I honestly think I'm actually gonna go sell this now because <laughs> that's like, <laughs> That's like a no brainer, honestly, but you know, hopefully you got some value for your own business. And if you guys have any comments or questions or concern, comment them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.